I thought my spouse was born again. My name is Olushe Gumoku Olu. You know, people have found themselves in marriage, and I'm talking about Christians, that they think that, oh, this person I married is born again, only to realize in marriage that this person has nothing to do with being born again. But what exactly is the problem? One of the problems is that first, the party that is thinking is marrying a born again person does not even know what it means to be born again. Many people today don't know what it means to be born again. I sit down in counseling and I ask people, are you born again? They say yes. Is your spouse born again? They say yes. But what your spouse is doing is not consistent with the life of a person that is born again. So most people do not understand what it means to be born again. You see, to be born again is to become dead to sin. To be born again is to become Christ-like. To be born again is to become a disciple of Jesus. That means you must have denied yourself, pick up your cross, and you are following Jesus daily. The words of Jesus determines your life. You are living primarily and exclusively for Jesus. Like 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15 says, He says in that he died, he died for all. That they that live should not longer live for themselves, but for him that died for them. That man, that woman, is she living for Jesus? Is her entire life about Jesus? You will discover very quickly that, no, the person you marry is not the kind of person I've just described. Moreover, let me tell you something. Somebody can say, oh, I'm born again. But there are still some checks. See, somebody can become born again today. Should you marry that person? No. You know why? The person is still a novice. You don't just marry somebody, even the fact that the person say, I'm born again. You don't just marry that person. You need that person to develop root in the Lord. The Bible says, Jesus told us, he said there are some people, when they hear the word of God, they rejoice. But they have no root in themselves. And after a while, they deviate. So that brother that you see that is jumping up and down, he's, he's so busy with church work and so on, you will not marry him. You will discover you have married a demon. He will become a very terrible person. He won't even want to have anything to do with church again. The same thing happened the other way around. That same sister that is saying, born again, born again. By the time she begins to show you in marriage, you will know that you are in serious pepper soup. Because if you don't marry somebody because they just say they are born again. They can, somebody can become born again today. But they are not rooted. Do you know how many times you have gone for altar call? Do you know how many times people go out to say, I want to be born again? They are born again today, six months later. They are in sin. Somebody comes and preach, they become born again. Then later, three months later, they are in sin. Somebody comes, they become born again. Do you want to marry such a person? You will end up discovering that you've, not, you've married somebody who doesn't know Jesus. Then two, even though somebody is born again, his mind is not immediately renewed. The Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The born again you should marry he is, somebody, he is the person whose mind is renewed. i give you an example. Somebody can become born again today, but his understanding of marriage is based on everything he has learned in the society. It's not based on scriptures. It will take the word of God to teach him that, see, as a husband, you will have to love your wife unconditionally. Whether she's submissive or not, it will take renewing of mind, being filled with the Holy Ghost to come to that point. It will take renewing of mind and the feeling of the Holy Ghost for a woman to come to a point where she now knows that I must submit to my own husband in all things. It will take conviction and teaching of the word of God for somebody to come to the point where he knows that divorce is not an option in a Christian marriage. It will take the, the Holy Ghost to bring the person to a point where he knows that Adultery should never be had off in your marriage. So somebody whose mind has not been renewed is born again, but is as worldly as any unsaved person. You now marry the person. You say, hey, but he's born again. So you must understand what it means to be born again and the kind of born again that you should marry. That's why the Lord says, I will teach and instruct you the way you should go. The problem is that many people will not apply the word of God when it comes to picking a marital spouse. There are enough, enough a guidance in the scripture to help you to marry somebody that is genuinely born again, rooted in Christ, with mind renewed and living the life of Jesus. That's the person you can enjoy marriage with. The kind of people people are married today and saying, oh, they are born again, born again, born again. You can see what is going on in the marriage that they are not born again. How can a man say he is born again? And then he's into adulting, full-time adult, doing it. Somebody will say he's a pastor. He's having a child outside of marriage. And you say, but I, I thought he was born again. How can somebody who is born again be going outside of marriage to have a child? That's not a man falling into sin. That's a man living in sin. That is why if you see in the course of this uh, uh, teaching, you will see that we've been sharing 
link to take a free marriage course. It's absolutely free. If you are single, enroll for the single course. If you are married, enroll for the married course. You will see the link in the description below of this video. Just click on it and enroll on the one that you feel that is going to help your life. Learn how biblical marriage works. That is why one of the best things you can do to yourself in order to get marriage right is to begin to live for Jesus and become rooted in Christ as soon as you give your life to Jesus. That is the real preparation that you truly need because that is the only way you can discern another person who is also truly born again. I am Olusha Gumokolu and I am your brother in Christ. God bless you.